Hi, my name is Jay with Kick Freezeball Tables. First off, I'd like to welcome you to the Kick family. Today I'll be showing you how to properly assemble your Kick 55 inch Titan Foosball Table. I hope this instructional video was helpful. With no further delay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is open your box and take a look at your contents. Then you want to lay down each piece out onto your floor individually. If you're assembling your freezeball table on a hard surface, I do recommend they lay down a large blanket or a large piece of cardboard. That way you don't damage your freezeball table during the assembly process. Next, you want to match each part to what's inside your instruction manual. If you notice any missing or damaged parts, please contact Kit Customer Support with pictures of your shipping label, the box label, the box itself, and the damaged part. Our contact information will be listed at the end of this video. For step one of this assembly, we're attaching our legs P2 to both side panels and end panels using our H1 bolt our H2 bolt, and our H3 washers. One way to determine that you are adding the correct leg to the correct side of the table is you want to make sure that both the holes on your leg line up with both the holes on the side panel and both the holes on the inside of the rear panel. Go ahead and line up those holes. You want to insert your H1 bolt into the side panel. Go ahead and insert your H2 bolt into the back rear panel. Then you'll secure using the element that was provided. Next, we'll be attaching our leg levelers, P8, to the bottom base of each leg. The purpose of these leg levelers is to even out your playing field during play, so that if one side is higher than the other, you can just either unscrew them a couple notches or tighten them a couple notches to even out your playing field. Also, you'll notice this rubber ring around each leg leveler. This will prevent your table from sliding back and forth during rough play. Once you've attached all four of your legs and attached all of your leg levelers to the bottom base of each leg, now we're on the next step in turning over our table. This is a two-person job, so you need some assistance for this part of the assembly. What you want to make sure is that you don't rest the weight of the table on either of the legs. So you just want to turn over the table in one swift full motion so that all the legs hit the ground at the same time. For steps two, we'll be attaching our ball entry cuffs P4A and P4B to our table using our H4 screw. This part's pretty simple, you just want to go ahead and insert your ball entry cuff P4B into the inside of the side panel, and your ball entry cuffs P4A to the outside of the side panel. Go ahead and tighten that all the way until the cup is aligned and flush with the top of the table. Then go ahead and insert your H4 screw and tighten. Next, we'll be attaching both of our slide scores to both ends of our end panel using our H5 screw. This part is pretty simple. You just want to go ahead and align your slide score to the center of the end panel. And one way to determine that it's in the center is to go ahead and align it with the inside of the goal line. Go ahead and insert your H5 screw. And secure. After you completed step two and attaching both of your slide scores and both of your ball entry cups to your table, now on the next step, step three, is inserting all of our rods and attaching each player to each rod. The most important part of assembling your foosball table is making sure that all the rods and players are in the correct position. So you want to carefully review the diagram, locating the instruction manual prior to inserting your rods. What you want to make sure is that you add the correct amount of players per holes in the rod. You also want to make sure there's a hole on the correct side of the table where the handles will later go. 
Now before we insert all of our rods and attach each player to each rod, I'm going to show you an already assembled table and explain to you the differences between a one-man goalie and a three-man goalie setup. The difference between counterbalance men versus uniform men. Here's how to set up the rods and players on your new kick foosball table. Place four handles on each side of the table in this specific order. Make sure the four handles for your home team are in this specific order, as shown in the diagram. Also make sure your players are facing the opposing team and toward the opponent's goal, not the same team or your own goal. One-man goalie versus a three-man goalie setup. Now with this table, we have the option to have either a one-man goalie or a three-man goalie setup. Most beginners and some others prefer a three-man goalie setup because there's more defense around the goal, making it harder to score, and giving the user more control over the field. Others prefer a more fast-paced one-man goalie setup. It's completely up to you. If you're looking for a one-man goalie setup, instead of having the other two outer men on the goalie rod, you replace them with the four black stop rings. You can optionally place the white field lining tape on both sides of the table to prevent any dead spots, if any at all. Next, place the four green triangle corner ramps you received on each corner of the playing field. These ramps will only work with the one-man goalie setup. They will not work with the three-man goalie setup. Next, secure your ramps using the four H7 screws that were provided and cover the holes using the four green plugs. Counterbalance men versus uniform men. With your table, you receive two full sets of different style of foosball men, one set of uniform hard plastic men and one set of ABS counterbalance men. The uniform men are the foosball men used mostly by beginners. If you place the players in the rod in a horizontal position, they'll just fall back down into a vertical position. Or if you free spin the rods, they'll continue on spinning. Whereas the more experienced or regular players prefer the counterbalanced men. Counterbalanced players mean that there's a weight in the head equal to the weight of the toe. So unlike the uniform men, they will not fall back down into a vertical position if left in a horizontal position or in any other position. They also don't keep on spinning like the uniform men. This lets the user position the foosball men to their liking or technique. Again, it's totally up to the player's preference. When attaching your players to your rod, you want to note that there's a bumper, a washer, then you want to add the correct amount of players per holes in the rod, then add another washer, and another bumper. Then complete by sliding through the second hole. Go ahead and line up your players over each hole in the rod. We'll be securing our players using our C6 bolt and our C7 nut. This part's pretty simple. Just go ahead and line up the player with the hole in the rod. Insert your C6 bolt into the chest of the player. Insert your C7 nut into the back of the player. Hold the bolt in place and turn over and secure. Kick foosball table comes with two types of foosballs. Smooth for hard straight shots and fast moving offense, and soccer or football, which is textured for greater friction, power, and control. Experiment with both to find out which is more exciting for you. Congratulations! We are now officially done assembling our Kick 55 inch Titan foosball table. You are now free to enjoy your table with your friends and family. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please visit us at www.kickfootballtables.com or email us at support at kickfootballtables.com.